Yeah, and I want to go back to uh, when uh, we are in a neonatal stage and uh, how infants, very young infants, learned to own their actions and their consequences in a way that is not initially through error correction or goal directness. It's something completely different. And this persists throughout adulthood and uh, beyond. Uh, and it's, it is an exploratory way in which the infant doesn't have a goal in mind. And it's a fundamentally different mode of learning that the infant comes to own and self-discover. So before anybody prompts to a goal or gives the infant anything that needs to be accomplished so that you have an error to measure against, the infant has just this state of mind that says, if I do this, maybe this happens. What if I do this? There is no goal in there. And this is completely different from here's the goal. I will do this so that I measure the error of the consequence of why I, what I did against what I was supposed to do and correct. These are two fundamentally different ways of learning. And the exploratory one does not have a place in behaviorism at all. It does not exist. It's as if they started developing this model after a system completely mature and developed because that's where they get this, these animals. And we're talking humans. Humans are altricial mammals. They, they take a long time of maturation before they can walk, talk, interact uh, in a meaningful way. And that period, in, in fact, the first three months of life they have to build anti-gravity muscles and movements because they are out of the womb environment. They will live for a while in this uh, position, in this, in this kind of uh, um, sort of in, into itself, exploring, sensing, and building maps, sensory motor, somatic sensory motor maps until they begin to uh, explore the world and get the limbs out there. And that's a transition that happens. And it's, there's no error there to be corrected for. There is no uh, consequence to be extrinsically reward that you, you can measure and so on. The baby just does it by mere exploration without any kind of goal. It's spontaneous. And that is spontaneous self-discovery of what the goal, the sensory goal may be. It's an initiation towards action ownership and the development of self. And when that is violated and, and in the way that is being violated with behaviorism, that organism, that nervous system is in danger of trauma, of uncertainty, of a stress, of anxiety, and that continuously being reinforced through the reinforcement that your uh, schedule that you have is violating the agency and the autonomy, the self-discovering property, natural property of the nervous system from beginning all the way throughout the end of life. And uh, this is our opinion. We have measured this in the brain, in the body. We know this for a fact. <laughs>